Hey YouTube, welcome again, welcome back to my channel and another video again. If you're new here, my name is Faith Faye, in case you don't know, you're highly welcome to this channel and trust me, this channel is a vibe for you. If this is what you really enjoy watching, then stay tuned and don't forget to click on the red button over there, subscribe to the channel and if you really like it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up on notification bell and if you're my returning subscriber, chop the usual kiss. Mm -hmm. Alright, don't worry guys, my voice is a bit crutchy because i have cold i don't know these days i normally get cold something like that but anyway i had cold and cold for two days now but it's gonna be fine yeah, so I according know. to the title below you can see that i'm planning to wash my hair like the braid this braid is only two weeks old now and it's just two weeks old i haven't used to do anything old. yet and it's giving me this dirty vibe over here like it's getting dirty too dirty for my liking so today i decided to wash it because when i woke up this morning i was just checking all my pictures some of the pictures of the air it was very obvious that it was dirty so i was like okay i don't like this smell it's giving anymore so let me just do something about it this is basically my first time doing this i'm going to do this today myself and i alone. you get what i mean yeah, so we're going to wash this air today because it's so dirty. Let me show you guys again. You see this one over here? If it's too dirty, this white stuff start coming out and it's going to pull your hair out. So that's one thing about air. So my brain will be just like two weeks or one and a half weeks and I'll feel like it's dirty. So let me take it out. But no, that is not the way to treat your braids. You just, if it braids is dirty, you don't need to treat them badly by taking them off. Well, yeah, you can also, if you feel like you don't really like your hair to be like a week or two weeks old in your head. So for me, yeah, I feel like it's too hairy to take it out. So I want to just wash it, retrim it. So it's going to be new again. Do you get what I mean? You don't need to get a lot of things. You just need moisture, you just need shampoo and conditioner. And that's the three things you need. And with hot water and what you need to do because if I don't wash it today that means I have to take it out which I don't want to because it's too much to take it out and it's still new it's just dirty and that's it so that's what we're going to be doing today but anyway if you find this interesting for you today to watch or this is what you really want to turn into stay tuned so guys, the first thing I did was to take up empty bottles and add a moisture water to the You can see the moisture water there. Then I went ahead to add the shampoo and mix everything together. I shake it very well so that everything is going to blend together. So I use it to wet my hair for the start. I make sure that everything is wet so it will be easy for the shampoo to get in. This. It's not your natural air, it's actually a braided air. So all the dirt is going to get off. From it, you get what I mean, yeah. So I have to wash it thoroughly, scrub inside. Make sure when you're putting the moisture water and the shampoo you mix together, make sure that everything blends inside and make sure that it entered very well. Because if not, there are going to be some particles that won't be clean. So you need to make sure that everything is well washed and well clean. That is basically it. You just need to mix them very well. Then have to scrub in order for everything to be okay. And also, after applying your shampoo, the mist shampoo water to it. You go ahead and also apply the normal shampoo to it for the tell you guys and also you have to screw up it a lot so that there won't be no particles inside there will be no sign of dirt and stuff inside you just have to you just have to keep applying and keep scrubbing so it will be clean if not there when you finish rinsing there's still gonna be some particles that will get out you get what i mean yeah that's just it
For the water one, I prefer to use the hot water because I feel like the hot water is more stronger than the cold water. The cold water won't really do a lot of things compared to the hot one because the hot one is going to take the dirty down. It's going to make it to be clean. Do you get what I mean? If you're using hot water to wash your hair, I think that's the right thing to do. And yeah, so after applying everything, make sure you touch it. We leave it for like, uh, is it six minutes? And then we start to rinse. Make sure you rinse all part of it before. You start applying the before you start mixing the other the other one which is the conditioner and the mixture water together again yeah so i i'm using this um conditioner it's not compulsory you also use not compulsory you also use this conditioner because this is the type i'm using you can also use other one to use it so because they are different air shampoo air conditioner so it depends on the one you want to use so as for me i went ahead to use this but first i have to mix the i have to mix the moisture water and the conditioner just the same way i did for the moisture water and the shampoo so i can have the liquid one and also the thick one which is the shampoo so I mix the conditioner inside the moisture water and start applying it to wet the hair again just like the way we did for the first time with the shampoo and the moisture water so then after all, after I've wet everything together I went ahead to apply the, the conditioner so it will be okay and scrub all over again and meanwhile when you're scrubbing you need to be very careful okay yeah so that's it When you rinsing and you feel like there's a bit there in part of it, you can actually see the place that is there. Is. But when you realize that this conditioner didn't go, this shampoo didn't go, you just need to go ahead to rinse again. Do not leave it there because once you leave it there and dry your hair, it will still come up dirty because you didn't rinse everything. So you need to be careful and check everything thoroughly so you need to rinse clean, you rinse everything, okay? So once you're done rinsing it thoroughly, you just need to take a toy, a clean one, not a dirty one. Use it to um, wrap it around your head any style you want to. You know, it's not because you actually use the same one I'm using or the same style I'm using. You just need to wrap it around your head so it can actually absorb all the water from the beach. You know I mean? yeah, that's it. And also, you, if you feel like it's too big, some of you can actually use anything to hold it. Like me, I use the band to hold it just to absorb the water quickly. It won't take a lot of time. Time, but it actually worked well for me. I'm done washing the hair, like it's not really bad. I thought that it's gonna be too bad. So, this has been on my hair for a while now. This has been on my hair for a while now, so I'm gonna take it out now so I can blow dry it. Yeah, we're gonna take this out now and blow dry it, guys. It's so freaking heavy now. And yeah, I'm gonna blow dry, blow dry the hair. I can't even bend my hair. Oh no, that's it. Yeah, it's dried already and it's light already now. It's not heavy. All the all the water uh in here, all the water uh, in here. This toy really absorbs a lot of water from the air, which I really like. And yeah, my hair is fresh now, it's not inchy me anymore. Look at it. Um look at it. It's not inchy me anymore. I really love it, yeah. So yeah, I think it's a plus for me. Last week I was thinking, I was like, instead for me to take my hair out this week, which is two weeks now, why not just wash? This is just inchy, not that it's rough, it still needs. Yeah, let me just wash it and 
blow dry it and you know so i was like yeah i'm gonna do it so i actually went on youtube to check yeah it's possible to wash a braided hair so i did it and it's not really bad it's not bad at all it looked like the new braid blah 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 yeah so let's blow dry this one i'm not gonna use the odd part of it yeah i'm only gonna use the the air one i'm not using the hot one like the one like fire you can watch say so that's the one we're going to use today yeah i know he's gonna take like forever to blow dry your hair but you just need to keep doing it to me it took me four to five minutes almost an hour to <laughs> to finish this although the toy also here because I actually i absorbed the water from heat and it's not a bad in any way so i blow dry the hair and make sure all the water i have the air is dry so it's actually plus smooth here yeah? so after you don't blow dry you just need to add your cream like the hair cream to heat i also forget to clean it by adding the cream but you also need to add the cream to it and if you have the spray first it sprays for a nice smell you know what i mean yeah so while you blow drying you see some particles like the hair is gonna come out it's not gonna be neat you just have to retrain it but if you feel like you can actually retrain it it's fine that you need to retrain it all over again so it will be neat so yeah it really helped for me it really helped very well for me yeah so that's what i think So after trimming, I shake the hair, I shake the water out from the hair. So it's gonna be light, you get what I mean? Yeah. So I shake it thoroughly and also the hair from the trimming, so it's gonna fall off. So I just keep shaking, so it's gonna be light. So that's it. And also I keep on blow drying and also shaking. <laughs> so they both all together. So that's what I did here. After the hair is dried completely, then we'll go ahead and use this spray I got from an African shop and you can also get any one. They have different type of feet but this actually works well for me. And I also like the same detail. It smells so nice. Yeah. So I went again to start trimming the front so it's gonna be so neat like a new one. Get what I mean? That's what I did. So guys, I'm almost done with it. My hair is looking so good now. Like, it's light, it's not inching, nothing. I love this one. I really love this. Why am I holding this? Anyway, I'm holding this pink one, that, that the pink edges brush, because I want to put this. I hate putting this stuff on my hair, but my front is not really giving the vibe. I just want to put a little stuff on it, something that is going to make it slick down. So, I'm going to use this Echo Styling Chair. And I'm go also gonna use the mods just to bring them down because I wasn't able to 
trim everything so i'm gonna put this echo can you see it yeah 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 oh the light is just too much anyway i'm gonna use this echo study gel and the most to put them down all right so let's do this one now before we start the air let's put the echo no let's put the morris first before we put the echo yeah I think that's how it works. I'm not an air stylist. And I know go lie, you light up my life And when she tell me my love is your love, baby She don't want the Gucci, but the body bendy Cause she give me butterflies in my bed my hair is looking kinky kink. mm. give it up give it up give it up anyway my hair is shiny again mm, smells good now anyway i decided to do this tie look at the back and um, it's so lovely so this is the style and it suits me so well so guys, I decided to use my mic now because I don't really like the long hard side and I also don't like the sound of the mic yet yeah, to be honest yeah. I'm also gonna get a better one but I don't really know if she, I don't really know the type to get or this platform like Shin especially they can actually this video I don't really know if I'm the one that didn't check the review and well if I didn't check the review well but if you know the type of man that's actually okay for me just let me know in the comment section okay and yeah so as I was saying about my hair it is two weeks gone yeah it's just two weeks gone on Saturday yeah today is Monday and I decided to wash it and it smells nice it smells good everything and if you're the type of person that uh, can't actually sit down to for someone to come make your hair for hours upon hours you know what I mean so you just have to wash your hair once you see that it's inching you it's scratching you you don't need to buy this you don't need to buy to get your hair done what you need is a shampoo conditioner moisture or liquid shampoo the ones that I missed to get but it's actually worked well for me and my hair is looking so good but I'm just gonna let you know that there are different type of people. There are some people who like to sit down to make their hair every week or every two weeks because they love to change their look. Like my sister, she always loves to change her looks every two weeks. For me, my looks or not my looks, I don't care because I don't like to sit down for hours upon hours to make my hair. You get what I mean? So this is just two weeks air so i don't need to take it out i just need to wash it if it's inching so i probably i don't know when i'm gonna take it out but yeah i know that it's not something soon so i can't even sit down to take it out because it's also stressful everyone is different yeah you know so everyone is different but for me yeah i decide to wash it give it a new smell trim everything all over it you don't need to buy this or buy that to get this to get that just to wash your hair you just need shampoo conditioner moisturizer and the wet one the liquid one you see the way i did it so i think that's that's also okay for every one of us yeah it's gonna make your hair looks okay look cool then you have to blow dry it and you get what i mean yeah yeah you also want something like that because it's not everyone that normally do this stuff you get what i mean so that is it. So guys, if you have from the very beginning of this video and if you just call me or anything, thank you all. Thank you all. I really appreciate you guys. Don't worry about my voice. But anyway, guys, thank you all for staying with me. I really appreciate you all. If this video was very helpful for you, 
today. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. You get what I mean? Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section in case you want to add anything or what I should do or what I shouldn't have done. Just let me know in the comment section. And yes, the most important part of it, don't forget to click on the red button over there. Like and comment also and yeah also follow me on my social my tiktok my instagram i'm gonna put everything in the description box there below anyway guys i'm gonna say bye for now <laughs> all right let me leave you guys now all right bye for now i'll see you in my next video yeah all right bye guys